the question is what kind of Orlando Central Florida rental property should you buy? I'm a fantastic believer in owning one to three rental properties for almost any person. And what's the number one thing to get in a rental property? That's to get something that's very close to where you live. I get a lot of calls from people who are thinking about rental properties in different cities or way across town. I've had up to 13 rental properties at one time and the ones that were more than five or ten minutes away I just never visited. I had one that was down by the airport which is only a 25 minute drive one way. However that's a 50 minute drive round trip plus my time there and I found I never went to check on the property because it was an hour, an hour and a half round trip and I just didn't have time. So now I own a couple of rental properties and they're all within four or five minutes of the area that I normally drive to. So at most I have to go five or six minutes out of my way. Um, so the number one thing to get a rental property is to get something that is close to where you live. The number two thing is to get something that's not too cheap. A lot of people call and they want to get a really cheap rental. They want to get a really basic, low-end, single-family home. Uh, and I've owned a couple in Pine Hills and Isaiah Park, houses built in the 50s and 60s. The maintenance on those is way more than you'd want to do. And the uh, um, type of renters that you're going to get are not the type of renters who are going to consistently pay the rent. So you don't need to get some upper-end home, but you don't want to get the bottom, the basic home. You don't want to get people, a lot of people buy a home, a rental because they say look how cheap it is to buy it's the cheapest property single family home that I can buy or the cheapest condo but then what you realize is later you're going to be renting to the same type of people who are going to line up all of the different rentals and they're going to call you because you're the cheapest rent so not only are you buying on the cheapest but for the rest of your life you're going to be dealing with people who are looking for the cheapest basic rent and when you go to sell it and you call a realtor like me we're going to line up all the rental properties and again you're going to sell on the cheapest end so don't get the cheapest get something that is does not going to be a lot of maintenance uh, something maybe is a little nicer than the bottom bottom of the market and don't get something too fancy either because if you get too fancy your the mortgage payment is not going to be balanced off by the rent so as a general rule get something that's not the bottom get something that's close to you I'm a big believer in condos a lot of people say I don't want a condo I don't want the maintenance fee maintenance fee let's say it's 250 a month which is three thousand dollars a year but three thousand dollars a year is nothing compared to the cost of a roof every five or ten or fifteen years the cost of landscaping the cost of keeping up the exterior that ends up being a tremendous value to have a condo that you put a tenant in you rent it they move out you fix the inside what's the worst they could do to it and then you put somebody else in um, so some people like preferably single-family homes there's a myth that single-family homes appreciate more than condos and they just don't everything goes up so a single family home as they rise the price of the condos which are less are going to rise just a little bit under that so in the boom when we had right before the crash in 2008 2009 you have condos that say go for 100 120 today they were going for 250 um, because everything gets pulled up and of course everything would adjust back down as well so hopefully that helps on what to look for in a rental here in the central florida area